I'm stubborn and I keep going because uh, one thing, I don't give myself an option of failure. For me, it's simple. I can do it because I never really lost it mentally. You know, physically it might show, but my mind has not failed. Crossing from New Jersey to Brooklyn in the middle of the day is no easy task. But for Victor Martinez, there is no choice. He has come here to a cramped basement gym to train with one of the most high-profile bodybuilding trainers of recent years. Oscar Arden is best known as Kai Greene's trainer, mentor, and friend, the purveyor of positive thinking that took Kai to two successive Arnold Classic titles. Now in training for the 2011 version of that competition, Victor Martinez turns to Oscar for help. The fact that he will brave New York traffic for several hours a day, day after day, says something about his determination to win this contest. Because this time, for Victor, it's do or die. There is no plan B. You can say, how many beginnings can you have? as many as you need. And this, in my life, is a new book that I'm about to print. No, the Olympia is still fresh, but again, I, I have put it behind me. It's, uh, it's behind me, it's a learning experience. I, I will have to say, um, I'm looking so far ahead and uh, it, it's, all I see is the arm on the horizon. Nobody has a gun to his head telling Victor, you know, drive out here. Victor, push yourself. And Victor is training hard. This is the hardest I've ever seen Victor train. You know, he's doing exactly, you know, because I also had that mindset where people had said, oh, Victor is not a hard trainer. He doesn't push hard. But I, you know, he's, he's doing it. He's, he's pushing it. And, it's, and, you know, having him with me at every session, there is no doubt in my mind that he's training harder than anybody out there. So he's, he's I'm very proud of, of, of everything that's happened so far. And um, I know that if we continue to go at this rate, the improvements in conditioning, the improvements in the belief in himself and the improvement in his physique are gonna be dramatic. Vic's previous effort for the Olympia under the tutelage of Joe McNeil in Tampa, Florida was for the most part a long distance relationship. I have always wanted to work with Oscar. We never did. We never did some side tracks here and there. And, and I just saw it was a better match only because he's in New York. I don't have to send him pictures. I didn't want to deal with the picture thing anymore. You know, chose to work with Oscar. I'm still working uh, with Victor, you know, he's never out. He's, he's family, he's like a dad and, uh, you know, and still keep pushing, you know been in it from the beginning to the end and and uh, Oscar just you know mends things a different way that I know my body can still handle. first began uh, trying to work together, I said, Victor, you know, if you look at the, um, at the placings, nobody has ever gone from an eighth place finish to a first. To do that, you really got to take yourself to the next level. And by that, I mean, you really need to, you know, whatever drama or bullshit in your life, you need to get rid of it. You need to focus on victory and your whole day has to be geared to being the best in the world. Both Victor and Oscar certainly have their work cut out for them. A comeback like this is unprecedented, and there is still the matter of Victor's recurring problem. It's well known that Victor's downfall has all too often been his conditioning on the day of the show. 
It is a daily topic of discussion on the Muscular Development Forums, where Vic has his own sub-forum. I had a few fans ask me, did you cheat on your diet? Do you not train hard enough? You know, and I'm like, no, you know, it's like that I think aggravates me the most because no, no, and no, you know, to all of it. It's just basically when I thought I was pushing hard enough, I wasn't. When I thought I was dieting hard enough, uh, sometimes I felt like I wasn't. But when you get the guidance that's telling you, yes, you are, then that's what you follow. You know, I mean, I'm one, I'm a stickler to, to follow directions. When, and does it mean you're being led the right way? Not necessarily. He's the type, he has a type of physique that you see in bodybuilding contests that has everything there. Except if he came in shredded, he would win everything. That was that guy, that was Victor. I'm pushing his nutrition to the best that it could be. I'm pushing his training the best that it could be. And when you're doing that and you're uh, believing and, and seeing changes in your physique, you know, you, you, you know, you're gonna make improvements. After the Olympia, we made sure not to allow his body weight to get so heavy, so he stayed very lean. So actually, right now, at about 51 days out from the show, we're ahead of the game, you know, and uh, I know mentally for him, that's a relief. You know, our goal is to be in shape two or three weeks before the show, and Victor's, you know, has certain trouble areas, and those are the areas that we're targeting him, because I know when those areas are conditioned, the rest of him is in shape. stubborn and I keep going because uh, one thing, I don't give myself an option of failure. After the workout, we take a few minutes to shoot some footage for a promo of a top secret new MHP product to be unveiled at the Arnold. I can see that Vic still has his good humor and is maintaining the classic shape that continues to make him a consistent fan favorite. Vic has had much success in his career so far, winning the Arnold, placing second at the Olympia, but it's not enough. This year, he knows he has to take it further. This time, it's do or die. The Arnold is really that important. Um, I cannot speak for my fans. I cannot speak for uh, my sponsors. I cannot speak for you know people who just started following bodybuilding. But for me, it's simple. I can do it because I never really lost it mentally. You know, physically, it might show but my mind has not failed. Come back tomorrow through Friday to musculardevelopment.com as we host Victor Martinez Week. The MD Video crew has recorded long form training and lifestyle videos that will give us a peek into the world of one of the greatest physiques of the current bodybuilding era. These are exclusive videos available only on the Muscular Development video page. To get instant updates on all my video projects, subscribe to the Gato MJP YouTube page or become a Mike Bolsonaro Facebook friend. The Victor Martinez story is made possible by MHP Bodybuilding Supplements.